Hey, this is Driving with the Miles. So we're going to talk about how do you start a vehicle and drive in the snow. We will also show you a snow setting to keep you safe. So I'm in the vehicle. I'm putting my foot on the brake because it says press the brake and push the button to start. Foot on the brake. So I like to like I like the motor to start up on that first start. I want to check my vitals so this vehicle is equipped with the SRT package so I'm going to show you some of the settings in there and get everything set for you so to help you and if your vehicle has these types of settings then it's really advisable to use it uh, in uh, adverse weather because safety is no accident so what i'm doing is going down to the most important gauges this is the oil pressure the oil temperature and then the voltage the voltage is a little low usually it's about 14.2 14.3 so that tells me something could be going on with the battery it is cold you see the voltage going up now so that's a good thing now i'm feeling good right but that does tell you so you need to know your vehicle oil pressure is at 55 so we're okay there. Um, go ahead and turn on the defrosters, get the vehicle ready to go, and then we're gonna go ahead and slowly start backing up. I'm using my backup camera, but also you should be looking over your left and right shoulder and being safe. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and just let the windows down. This is a little bit of a cheat. So I'm letting the windows down. And then uh, obviously I'm being very careful. I'm gonna get that defroster on, get everything going, get it nice and high. And then I'm looking left and right, going back slow. Always being aware, always looking. Now I'm gonna let the windows defrost. And as you can see, they are defrosting and it does take some time. Every vehicle is a little bit different. So I wanna show you actual driving conditions. What do drivers do when they start up their vehicle? So uh, we're getting to the right a little bit. You can see the window slowly defrosting. And even if you turn on your wipers, that's not really going to do any good. So you let it defrost. And then what people actually do is what I'm doing. They look through the window. But we're going to go ahead and pull over here and just be safe and let this thing warm up a little bit more. You need to take a few minutes to let your vehicle warm up. Let it be safe. So we're checking everything all the settings so obviously uh my voltage is still going between 13.9 and 14 and that's okay it's starting to get a little bit better i was a little bit concerned you can see the windows starting to defrost some you can always use the hat to wipe them off and have some something in there so i'm definitely doing this so you're prepared so let's talk about driving through the snow here you got your wipers on and then i'm going to go ahead and put the vehicle in snow mode so there's a knob that i'm turning it's now in snow mode that's the safe mode the car starts in second gear this vehicle has an eight speed transmission so now we're safe we're rolling forward we're looking ahead and aiming high so whenever you're in your residential area you want to be safe you always want to test the braking surface so i'm just going to hit hit the brakes this car does have abs brakes so i'm just taking my time because the conditions are expected to get worse as time goes on so i wanted to get out and let all of you see this so what we do you want to test your braking surface so i'm just going to hit the brakes a little bit we do slide a little bit but i'm going up i'm going to make a left turn so i'm coming up i'm slowing down very easily i'm looking left i'm looking right i'm looking left and i'm gonna move up because the bushes are obstructing my view and then I make my turn. This vehicle is all-wheel drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean and grant safety. So I came out really smooth. I'm taking my time, checking on my settings. Voltage still is a little bit low, so that's a little bit of a...